Now, a little bit about myself. I've been uh, teaching singers and voice coaches for about 20 years. Um, I'm the author of a best-selling book called The Four Pillars of Singing, and it comes with a complimentary or or companion online course. It's the course in the book we were just talking about. It's been sold in about 157 countries around the world in many different languages, and uh, that's what we'll be looking at today. And um, I'm also a teacher of teachers, so I'm not only a, a, a teacher of students, but many voice coaches work with me through the TVS Certified Instructor Program. So of course, if you are a voice coach, feel free to uh, contact me after this presentation because we do have a robust voice teacher training certification program that we'd love to uh, talk to you about. But whether you're a teacher or you're a student, everybody has to know this information. Now, <clears throat> I've done over 65 vocal technique master classes in seven countries around the world, um, sponsored by Rode Microphones, TC, Helicon, Electro Voice, other companies that get behind us to bring good vocal health and technique to singers. And I've been performing as an artist for 35 years, and I've spent 12 years in the technology world. Now, this is this is relevant to singing and the presentation and the course and what I'm going to show you because it's that background in technology when I was in the IT world working at Microsoft and other, con uh, other, other companies that has enabled me to not only develop a wonderful training method to help you as a singer, but also to... Um, develop the delivery system, the the website, the the mobility, the um, the 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 way the system is distributed to you off of any device is really takes a lot of uh, technology know-how, and we couldn't be doing this without the technology know-how. I'm a member of the National Association of Teachers of Singing and a member of the Voice Foundation, which is, which is the world's oldest research. Association for Voice I actually spoke at the symposium in Philadelphia a few years ago, and I'm also a member of the Grammys. Now, a little bit about my personal story, and we'll get right into it. I'm a kid from the 80s, and I was very much inspired by many great singers, namely rock singers and metal singers from that era. Here's some of the guys that inspired me. Um, some of you may know who these guys are. This is Jeff Tate from Queens Reich, Steve Perry, of course, from Journey, Ray Alder from um, uh, Fate's Warning, James Debris from Dream Theater, Bruce Dickinson, and of course, um, Freddie Mercury from Queen. Now, it's true that all of these guys are rock singers, but don't let that fool you. This is not about learning how to sing rock style or rock genre training. That's not what we're talking about today. Now, of course, if you are a rock singer, then, then great. The techniques will work for you. But the techniques that we're going to talk about today and the method we're going to talk about are for anybody that wants to sing in any style in any genre. So just because you're looking at three pictures of three rockers okay, that inspired me when I was a kid 35 years ago, that doesn't mean that our presentation today is about rock style singing style, okay? There's that sort of silly. We don't do that, okay? This is about learning how to train, how to athletically train your voice to get stronger to sing any style. But I wanted to share you a little bit about my source of inspiration. And, and just like all of us, we have certain artists that inspired us when we were first getting started and still inspire, inspire us today. And these are the guys that inspired me. Um, of course, I love their music because I'm a rocker myself, but more importantly, the inspiration here isn't only the music, and this is an important point. The inspiration is the fact that all of these guys could sing in the head voice. All of them could bridge through the passaggio, through the vocal break, and sing with boomy, convincing, powerful, chest-like singing and control above the vocal break and into the head voice. And it's that aspect of singing. It's that sort of superhuman, cool skill set of being able to sing through the vocal break and get into the head voice and expand your range and sound powerful and you know, heroic and masculine that has always turned me on since I was a kid and it still does today. And it's be that, that particular idea of singing huge in the head voice and getting to the high notes and sounding heroic when you do it is really the bigger inspiration for me and so much so that I became a professional singer and then a professional coach and built this program for you guys. 
Um, here are some other coaches, or excuse me, other artists that I've listened to through the years. There's Morrissey, Peter Murphy, uh, Chris Cornell is a big influence on vocal distortion. One of the vocal distortion techniques that we learn in the program is called the uncompressed or the decompressed overlay distortion technique, which is the same distortion that Chris Cornell used. And of course, uh, Bruno Mars uses a lot of crime mode, which you're going to learn in the course as well. These are, um, you know, you've got a crime mode guy with Bruno, uh, Peter Murphy, Morrissey are really beautiful chess voice singers. So I just wanted to make the point that there are other people that aren't just heavy metal screamers that have inspired me as well. Anybody that sings great, I've listened to it. Now, my teachers. Over here is a picture of me when I was about 16 years old with Maestro David Kyle. He was a voice coach here in Seattle, Washington for about 35 years. A famous voice coach that worked with Lane Staley from Alice in Chains, Chris Cornell from um, for Soundgarden and Audio Slave, uh, Jeff Tate from Queensryche, Ann Wilson from Heart, uh, Ronnie Monroe, Liza Minnelli, lots of other really famous singers. And a large part of the pedagogy or some of the pedagogy in the techniques and the method that you're going to learn, and I'm going to talk to you about, are partly inspired by Maestro Kyle. He's probably my biggest uh, biggest mentor. I also worked with David Alt, Dr. David Alt at the University of Miami, where I studied classical for about three years. This is Steve Frazier. He's an expert in uh, singing vowels, resonance, and formants, and I was tutored by him for a couple of years to understand formants in singing. This is Peter Egan. He's an Estillian. And with Peter Egan, I was uh, tutored in the physical modes, uh, twang mode, cry mode, sob mode, opera mode, belt mode, distortion mode. These different physical configurations of the larynx are really important and helpful as a voice coach and as a singer when you understand them. And yes, we do cover it in, in, in the method that we're going to be showing you. This is a picture of me with Catherine Sadlin from CVI. I'm not a CVI coach, but um, our acoustic modes, the way we, the way we present the, the vowels and the resonance in our method is not totally, but partially inspired by uh, Catherine Sadlin. And that's a picture of me with her at the uh, Voice Foundation Symposium. Um, this is a picture of me with um, uh, Dr. Robert Shearer, Soonberg, and... Um, last but not least, Ingo Tizza. So I've had a lot of great teachers, a lot of great mentors, um, dedicated my life to this and we'll just keep on charging forward. All right. Now you might be wondering, well, okay. Um, you know, do you sing? Well, yes, I do. Um, I happen to be the kind of voice coach that not only wrote a book, did a course, developed a method and demonstrates my own vocal techniques in the program, but yes, I sing. <laughs> I sing. I actually sing. You can go out to YouTube and you can go to Robert Lenti performances and watch me singing covers and original songs that I've written and produced with all kinds of different bands. And I've also done regional tours, done some session work as a studio vocalist. That's really where I spend most of my time these days. And I've done you know lots of performances on on YouTube and online, as I said. So this is only a fraction of the pictures of me singing um, that I could shove into this slide. But I thought it was important, and I imagine you probably agree. You want to know that your voice coach not only you know knows a thing or two about voice technique, but you want to know that your voice coach can actually sing and lead by example. And yes, I can. And I invite you to go check out check it out.